Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. I'm Get Good Guy, and today I'm bringing to you a fascinating game called Vehicle Death Simulator. Now, I know it looks shockingly similar to Bass Food 1, but trust me, I know what I'm talking about here. So there are two basic class options in Vehicle Death Simulator. There's the Death Dealers, who use the vehicles and obviously deal death. And then there's the Victim class, who run around and provide the Death Dealers with something to deal death to. Pretty simple, right? Now, as you can see, I'm not too good at the game. I keep making the mistake of trying to destroy the vehicles. And this is clearly wrong, as nobody else seems to be doing it. So I'll have to try to alter my playstyle from now on, because you know, I don't want to ruin the experience of those using the vehicles, that would be pretty inconsiderate, and I do want to get better at the game, because the truly top players can unlock the fabled vehicle spawn death a lot more often, and that's what we all so desire. But I'm not the only one who isn't very good, uh, sometimes other victims try to kill you for some unknown reason, no idea why, so obviously you should defend yourself, and then you can receive your reward of a vehicle death, which is always so appreciated. But unfortunately sometimes this is reversed and it's very frustrating. You can take a nice vehicle death, which is cool, but then when you spawn, you'll be right near an enemy victim with no way of protecting yourself if they decide to break the rules, which is a bit of an oversight, I think. But this is just a minor gripe. Oh, and there's great variation in that you're sometimes pretty sure you're about to take a vehicle death, but other times you have almost no warning at all. Like when an artillery truck picks you off from across the map. It feels so good. Oh, and also this, this is really cool. You can also keep track of how good the death dealers are. When they kill you, you can see just how many times they've killed people with that vehicle. 100 kills per service star. And it's not just standard vehicles either. No, you've got exotic stuff like fortress guns, which adds some real flavour. Or even cavalry riders, for those with a fetish for death by a horse. Oh, and the crazy biker guy. His goal is purely to splatter you into the dirt. So it's nice that there are so many options. It's very inclusive. You can die in just so many awesome ways, and it happens all the time. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so good! I think probably the most powerful tier you can get to as a death dealer is the heavy bomber called the Ilya Muromets or I don't know, something along those lines, however you say the awesome thing. That thing gives you almost no chance of survival. It's wonderful. And if you eventually get bored of vehicle based deaths, then you can even commit suicide. You can jump off ledges and stuff. It's not consistent, sometimes you die and other times you take little or no damage, but at least you can try it. So yeah, that's- You know that actually is Battlefield 1, right? What, what, what do you say? You know that is Battlefield 1. This is Battlefield 1? Yeah. What the hell happened? When did it turn into this mess? Oh, screw it then. Here's the board of awesome. They support the channel on Patreon because they're crazy nice people. Cheers to everyone on it. If you want to join them on the board of awesome, then the link to the Patreon page will be in the description below and in my pinned comment where you can support the channel from as little as $1 a month if you so wish. I hope you enjoyed the video, even if it is just BF1 on vehicle steroids. I'm going to go and suggest a vehicle death simulator spin off to DICE. Feel free to like, favorite, and subscribe. I'm Get Good Guy, and I'll see you next time, laters.